Our next guests are two wildlife conservationists who were featured in my documentary called Endangered. It's on Discovery Plus. Take a look. Yeah. We just found two really nice knuckle prints just here. And the gorilla was walking basically like this, huh? like this. The fingerprints are still fresh. It's still fresh. It means that we are not far from where we are. We're getting very close now. Please welcome Damien and Erba. Hi, Damien. Hi, Urban. So, uh, Damien, you're in California, and it's Urbane or Urban? Urban. 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 Yes. And you are uh, in the Congo. Where are you right now? I'm in Congo right now. And what time is it there? It's 1.25 p.m. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining us. I know it's late for you, and uh, both of you do so much good work in the conservation. Spe gorilla conservation, obviously, is important to me. Explain what each of you do uh, for that. Damien, let's start with you. Well, I'm an associate professor of anthropology uh, at UC Davis. I study uh, the behavior of animals, and gorillas in particular, as you know. And I'm interested, basically, in to, uh, peering into the mind of wild animals and like gorillas and try and understand how they see the world. And I observe them and I try to imagine what it's like to be a gorilla essentially. And that's because of my interest for gorillas that I ended up traveling to Africa and working with the Dying for Sea Gorilla Fund and uh, meeting Urban. There's nothing like, we're showing a picture of a mother and a baby right now. There's nothing like trekking through and coming across gorillas. It, it, it really will change your life. I, of course, I'm working with the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund to build a new campus in Rwanda. And Irvine, you, you've been there. You went to the site when it was starting to be built, correct? Yeah, yes, uh, I'm the Congo Country Director. Um, we are developing Cuba conservation area along with the local community where we protect the groweries gorilla day by day. And we establish a kind of novel model to do that. And in our film Endangered, we highlight animals on the red list. So Damien, explain to everyone what the red list is and where gorillas fall on that. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. The red list is a, a list of uh, lots of threatened animal species. And most of them are threatened if they are on the list. And uh, for each species, there is a way to rank them and according to the, the level of threat that they face. And that allows comparing multiple species that have something nothing to do with each other, very remotely related species, and know exactly which ones are critically endangered, which, one, which ones are endangered, which ones are vulnerable, etc. And let's talk about the Grower's gorillas featured in the documentary. Uh, Damien, why are they at such a high risk? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Grouse gorillas are among the most threatened uh, great apes, and uh, they are one of the four types of gorillas, four gorilla subspecies, we say. And uh, they've been facing a dramatic decline in the past 25 years. About 80% of the gorillas that were there in the mid-90s are now gone. And their population is down to three or 4,000 gorillas currently. So they are definitely facing a risk of extinction. They are the highest level of threat on the red list. They say, they, we say they are critically endangered. That's the case of three of the four um, gorillas, by the way. Three of them are critically endangered. Yeah. And the reason for their, yeah, the reason for that uh, disaster that's been ongoing for a long time is the, the, the chronic insecurity and, and civil unrest and wars that uh, the Congolese people and the Congolese wildlife and biodiversity has been facing for 25 years. Uh, it's a country where people struggle, animals struggle, and nature struggles um, all together. And uh, for that reason, people have to find ways to make a living, pay for school fees, for food, etc. One way to do that is to uh, hunt animals and sell the bushmeat. The main reason why gorillas are currently going extinct is the bushmeat market in uh, Congo and in Africa in general. And why is it so important to protect the gorilla population? Um, Urban, let's talk about that with you. Yeah, it's really very, very important to protect gorillas gorilla. First, you know, the gorilla are our close cousin, as you know. And if you see gorilla, they are really very gentle. And uh, you know, as said Damien, they are really in danger of extinction. And uh, just is because the last, 20 last year, their number have fallen 80%. And I'm, I'm really very sure if nothing is done right now, the next five years, 
the, that the ground release gorilla will disappear on the, on the planet. And if this happens, it will be really a very big chaos because the gorillas play a huge role to maintain the ecosystem because they are playing a role of pollinators and the seed dispersal. And uh, they involve in the process to the restoration of the forest. And if they disappear, many forests that we know right now will also disappear forever. So it's worth to protect them and it's time to do that. Yeah, it is time. And I thank you all so much for uh, spending time talking to us. And I know that there are things that all of us can do. So you can go to our website to, to find out how you can help. And if you watch uh, the film uh, Endangered that uh, I narrate, it's a fantastic educational uh, film and a beautiful film to watch. You can stream it on D Discovery Plus right now. Uh, and again, for more information on how you can help endangered animals featured in the documentary, go to our website. Thanks, guys, so much. I, I, I really appreciate you spending time with us.